Welcome back to Crux Stationalis. Today we head to the Roman Station Church for Laetare Sunday, the fourth Sunday in Lent. Santa Croce in Jerusalem, or in English, the Basilica of the Holy Cross in Jerusalem. Don't forget to subscribe to Crux Stationalis and like this video. And when you're done watching, share it with your family and friends. Let's go inside. In the Liber Pontificalis, we read an account of Emperor Constantine constructing the Basilica of Santa Croce in Jerusalem in Rome and gifting to that basilica some of the relics of the true cross. Let's read that account. At the same time, Constantine Augustus constructed a basilica in the Caesarian Palace, where also he placed and enclosed in gold and jewels some of the wood of the Holy Cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he dedicated the church under the name by which it is called even to this day, Jerusalem. Santa Croce in Jerusalem. In that church he offered these gifts, four candlesticks of silver burning before the holy wood, like to the number of the four gospels, weighing each 80 pounds, 50 silver chandeliers, weighing each 15 pounds, a goblet of gold, weighing 10 pounds, five golden chalices for service, weighing each one pound, three silver goblets, weighing each eight pounds, 10 silver chalices for service, weighing each two pounds, a golden paten weighing 10 pounds, a silver paten overlaid with gold and set with jewels, weighing 50 pounds, a silver altar weighing 250 pounds, three silver pitchers weighing each 20 pounds, and all the land about the palace he gave as an offering to the church near the palace itself. And that is the account from the Liber Pontificalis of the many gifts granted to this beautiful basilica which houses precious relics of the life and passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. One of the relics to be found in Santa Croce is that of the Titulus Crucis. Here we find the relic of one of the nails from the crucifixion. And these are relics of the thorns from the crown of thorns. These relics of the Passion of Christ were brought to Rome from the Holy Land in the year 326 by Empress Helena, mother of Constantine. It is said that she had filled a ship with earth from the holy places. This soil was laid under the floor of the Caesarian Palace, which became the chapel of St. Helena. It was holy ground, so much so that in the reconstruction of 1743, the floor of the chapel was not touched. The apsidal fresco depicts the finding of the relics of the cross. According to the story of the legend, St. Helen touched a dead man with the wood of the three crosses, and when he came into contact with the true cross, he was resurrected. We too are confronted with the cross today, and through the rest of these days of Lent, let us take these words of St. Paul of the cross. He says, when you are alone in your room, take your crucifix, kiss its five wounds reverently, Tell it to preach to you a little sermon, and then listen to the words of eternal life that it speaks to your heart. Listen to the pleading of the thorns, the nails, the precious blood. Oh, what an eloquent sermon.